welcome to the Poly Plastics review. So we have Poly Plastics. It's thermoplastic beads that you can melt and can mold into anything. It comes with instructions for how to use it, how to melt it, how to be safe, and also things that you can make from it. There's lots of good ideas in here, and I might even do some of them. It also comes with a color guide, which tells you how to mix the colors provided to get the color you want. And these are the colors we got. There's gold, silver, black, blue, yellow, red, and white. Now, let's begin. So the recommended method of melting this, as the instruction book says, is to put it into hot water. It says to use water that's 150 degrees. So I boiled some water and put it into this green bowl. And I also have some cold water so I can cool it down faster. So I'm going to put some of the pellets in there. I have a spoon so that I can get it out. And you just put it into the hot water. So it starts out white, and then you just wait until it turns clear. And then it will have melted enough for you to use it. It takes a few minutes. You have to wait. And eventually it'll all clump together, which it's already starting to do. I also have a napkin here if I need to wipe something off or wipe my fingers off. I saw another method for using this is you can use a heat gun and fold it in between two pieces of parchment or wax paper, but that makes it a lot more sticky. And I want it less sticky, which the water method does. Right now I'm just going to work with the white. I'm not going to work with any of the colors, but let's get them out and look while we're waiting for it to melt. So there's the gold, silver black, blue, yellow, red. Not quite sure why there's white because it's already white, but maybe this is to make it more of a pure form. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's just little pieces of white plastic. All right, so it's starting to get there. You can see that the plastic is starting to clump. It's not quite clear. I have to wait a little bit more. It's halfway there. So since using different water is working out a lot better than the last one, let's go ahead and get the colors ready. Okay, so remember we're making light blue. So I need one blue and two white pellets. One blue. 
Now, when you're using the colors, you have to melt it with the plastic. I'm not going to do that yet. I think this stuff is ready. All right, so that worked a lot better. It's a lot more squishy, moldable. It's very hot, but doesn't stick to me. So I'm going to make... Uh, let's make a braid, a braided ring. So I'm gonna make this really thin and stretched out. Then I'm gonna break it off into about three pieces, the same length. It's still kind of the consistency of putty, but it's definitely hardening. And then you put the three together. Now, I have wax paper down so that it doesn't stick to my nice table, but man, it's starting to stick to itself quite a bit. This stuff does get sticky. So whatever you're going to make, you need to make it pretty fast. They do recommend to reheat larger projects. So, and do it bit by bit. There we go, a bracelet. Now let's cool it. Make sure the ends are squished together, but let's cool it. So you can see it's gotten cloudy. It's not transparent anymore, so you can tell it's cooling fast. Now I just have to wait until it turns back into this color, and then it will be hard. Let's make sure it's, yep, it's keeping its shape. getting a lot harder. It's almost there. Actually, let's change colors. Let's go for something that's a lot easier to see on camera. Instead of that, let's go for a really bright fuchsia. Or that magenta, I think it's fuchsia. So that won't use any white. But it will use two blue and two red. All right, I have two red. Okay, it's done. And it's pretty strong. I can hear it cracking a little bit because that's the three strands didn't quite fuse together properly. But it's still really durable and I can put it on and off. Okay, let's cool it back down again. Or right, heat it back up. This time we're gonna toss in the two red and the two blue pellets. We're going to add a little bit more hot water into it. This water cools down way too fast. All right. Let's mix the color into it. So you can just pull and mix and stretch. You can see how the colors are getting all stretched. And you just keep doing it until it's worked into the plastic. Or you could stop now if you want a weird uh, patriotic type 
marble. It's getting there, but it's also hardening really fast. I think I'm going to have to melt it one more time just to get it all. That's really cool looking. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's kind of veined. Let's melt it one more time. So let's start making it. Let's try a little bit different approach this time. Now I'm going to make the same bracelet, but I want to make sure everything sticks to each other this time. So we're going to keep those two in the hot water while I work with this one to make it nice and long. Next one. want that to touch. Same length as the other guy. Oh no, they all stuck together. This stuff is very sticky when it's hot. So if I was going to work on something that required me to do this all the time, I'd get lots of different pots. So I can always have something separate without touching by accident. Okay. Let's put this one back in the water. mold all of them together.
this stuff definitely sticks. All right, I need to warm that up. be enough to keep it working. All right. Now, this doesn't quite fit around my wrist, even though I have a tiny wrist. So let's heat it up. stretch it. And then I have a bracelet. It's kind of getting destroyed though. size now and now we cool it off and it should end up the color on the sheet when it's cool I'm thinking it'll end up a little bit lighter because when it was transparent is when it uh, matched the dark color and it's done Kind of looks like candle wax a little bit, but it's a lot more durable. And that's how to shape things just using the plastic. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next time because this stuff can also be used to make a homemade warbler. So I'm going to try my hands out with that. I'm going to try it using flour and I might be able to get some sawdust too and try it with that. And then we'll try making something with the warbler and see how it works. Look forward to it!